Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Loser here. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be doing more live arena battles. So I'm going to jump right into it. 3466 is where we're at in goal 2. Just starting up here, let's have a look at the leaderboard. We are in the top 700, 685, 885 battles so far. And uh, yeah, I realized that I'm kind of slacking off a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, goal to let's get that Quintus. I kind of kind of feel a little bit motivated now to get that Quintus, but there is something I need to do really quick here, guys. Sorry for the wait. We'll do it here on this channel. Let's boost up the Wukong. Let's give him a proper blessing. Alright, still working towards that 4 star with the, the event and all. And we will give him a proper blessing. I was picking Temporal Chains just because I was going for the accuracy. Although I don't think it, it might not be the best choice for him. I might end up picking like sheep or something each active buff I'm not sure but we might as well leave it for now I guess give him the three star okay let's jump into it I'm not too sure let me know in the comments below what you guys use on Wukong yourselves I'm thinking I should probably use sheep but uh, I'm interested to see what the four star um which one i which four star blessing gives me the best benefit so i have to take a look at that first i think it might it might be temporal chains or it could be um yeah i think temporal chains makes sense just for the extra accuracy but uh i think sheep also makes sense too so we start off here with Sifi. This guy is pretty close to Quintus, 39. I'm going to stand in his way. Against this, it's probably like... Need a cleanser, probably. Uh, hmm. He's probably not going to Ross. Okay, let's start with that then. Taras also is extremely weak to Uko as well, especially with the block bus. Anybody with the block bus, very weak. Okay. Yeah, Karato is a good counter to um, Harma for sure. So in this case, how's Duchess doing? Might need to double revive. Alright. We're gonna ban Yumiko. Unless his last pick is just godly plus four full blessings. But yeah, Karato is a good counter to Harma bombs that's actually a good counter actually just because we don't have um we actually don't have like a we didn't bring a cleanser so it's a good good counter but let's see if we go first our warlord's fast we got a um aura could be faster than his uh susan nope we do fear the demon though which is kind of nice and then we're up next on the turn meter, so... Okay, so he's gonna take the first turn. Nope. Uh, this should be it, I think. Yeah, that should be it. <laughs> that should be it. <laughs> like I was saying, my warlord's fast enough to cut in there 
so i was thinking he might have had thoughts about using the term meter boost and then get the uko to cut in and and then maybe like i don't know block buffs or something But yeah, if he's using the if he's using the instant turn move, then we had a chance to cut in with the warlord and we did just that and then that's it. Okay. I mean, we have to take UD, UDK here, which is fine. Um, so we're going to take out the Warlord, most likely. I think we'll take Taras, most likely. And then we'll probably take uh, Duchess here, I think. So we'll go Taras at the end. And then, uh, yeah, pretty sure we'll ban Warlord. There's actually not that many people in gold, gold 2, if you think about it. Because... Go two and above. Go two, go three, go four. Library has been out for, I don't know, six, six plus months. Uh, a little nasty here, I guess. Get rid of the bombs. Let's actually think about it a second. Um, even if we get locked out, it's kind of okay. Like our A1 should be able to do stuff. Um, but if we just straight up get slapped and lose to like bombs, that's pretty, pretty helpless feeling for sure. Um, sorry, I was thinking about something else and then I also ran out of time. <laughs> so usually I don't run out of time, but. I, was, I ran out of time this time and um, yeah nice so he can place the block debuffs it's kind of annoying but if we kill this arbiter Got a pretty good shot here. Ooh, nice counterattack. Break one of the stacks off. Should be able to kill Arbiter with one hit. There she goes. Gonna be a lot easier now. I think we got this. I think we got this. Six star Rotos, right? Yeah. Pretty big smack there. Nice. All right. We got the full buffs. Got a reviver back. Okay. 
GG. A weak hit. And then the Justice Fist. How'd you guys do? How'd you guys do for your void void pulls? Any new CFs in the house? Wukong seems pretty good here. Can't pick Duchess, so I think we just go with uh, Pythion. Pythion and then Taras at the end. Gotta go double Reviver, especially with uh, Leo out there. Oh, what's this? I don't want to deal with the block revive. Like, this is pretty, like, it could have been three damage dealers, unless his turv, uh, his torments like, support. Usually, you see, like, damage torments with accuracy. But, the way he picked his team, it looks like it's a full support torment because he has three damage dealers, but I guess sometimes people uh, make a mistake as well. He has no cleanser, so let's see if we can steal stuff. Oh, wow, we didn't place the block buff on the lion, which is like the most important one. <laughs> uh, shit. Like, legit the most important one. You can place the block buff on the most important one. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We're gonna lose some guys here. Oh, no, 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 no. That was so bad. I guess it doesn't matter, anyways. Ugh. Yeah, it, losing that block buff really cost us because now we can't neutralize the threat. So it's. I had to heal up uh, just to keep my reviver alive. <laughs> and never mind, never mind, we're dead. Oh man, that's so bad. Oh man, that's so bad. I guess we would have been dead anyways, but oh, it feels bad to lose to this. Damn. Damn, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I could have done. I'm not sure what I could have done there. A little bit different. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Because even if, even if the block buff was placed, we still lost because our Pythion was dead. Um, and I think choosing to cleanse instead of revive, we're still dead because Harma will come back and still die to the AoE again. So either way, we're still dead. Um, yeah. Hmm.
Yeah, last pick has to be a cleanser. Ragash is a good counter to Harma, and then Staltis might just be his best damage dealer. Uh, I don't know if Sifi is the pick. Like, if he wanted to be a, I mean, even banning Pythion maybe might give more trouble because the um, Wukong can kind of neutralize everybody. Let's see what he does here. He doesn't have increased defense, so using AoE doesn't make sense. Hmm. He's going to die to the... Um, gonna die to the uh, AoE here. So we save our Veil. Force him to use AoE. Damn it. Oh man, the stuns. Oh my god, unreal, man. Oh, barely get a turn off. Oh, the stinger. Oh. Go first, yeah, Wukong. Wukong being annoying. Uh, <laughs> want a rematch. Damn. Don't know. I don't know whether like reviving. Mm. Maybe placing the block debuff with Duchess earlier. Maybe could have prevented that. <laughs> Hard to say. Hard to say. That's kind of sting. Stinger. In damage build. Yeah, Wukong is actually a good champion. Good to deal with the Harma. If you have a damage built, Wukong is good to deal with the Harma.
free champion. Wow. I'm going to bring uh, Rodos in over Taras. Especially um, with Wukong out there, it's kind of a little bit difficult for Taras to get going. He has great survivability, but he's not going to hit as hard as my Rodos. Damn, this Lior is going to get a smack. Well, that worked out pretty well. doing his thing yeah unfortunately for me my uh, terrace is not my strongest nuker in terms of like resources invested obviously I have a six star rotos full faction guardian my Taras has a one star and no faction guardians <laughs> so he's you know he's missing quite a bit of stats right comparatively um, let's see. okay so yeah I mean I'm probably gonna pick Rodos this turn but hopefully we can pick him last. Nope, we won't get a chance to. Could go Necrit. Could go Necrit Rhonda. That might actually be the play. Arma has no star blessing. He has to pick a support. I was just going to say Wukong is probably the one you don't want to see. Probably go, probably go with the attack. Although it increases the attack of Taras, but it should be fine. Going resistance. See if we can snipe the Rotos and then um, try to pick up the Harma. Okay, we do have the lockout here. Two resists here. I think that's the turn meter resist, so.
See if she burns the revive here. Why are all these... I'm seeing all these resists popping up. Must be the turn meter, right? Turn meter is all getting resisted. It's only got the A1. be misplaying this a little bit hmm. Necro is going to die pretty soon I haven't even broken through this I don't think it's going to work out here. It gets locked out. Yeah. They're resisting the turn meter. That's kind of... Uh, I guess he did put the 80... He did put the 80 resistance, but... Yeah, that's it. Legit could not do anything with this Rhonda. Mm. All right. Uh, that sucks. Not enough buffs to get. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. The neck break should have been enough buffs. I guess that maybe the maybe that Duchess was like way too tanky. Couldn't get anything going. Hmm. Mm. Feels bad, man. That wasn't even like particularly like a really hard matchup. Mm. Maybe Necrit was not the right pick. Maybe Wukong would have been better. It would have been Wukong Warlord. Not sure. Might have been not as good actually.
Maybe we bring Elva out to play. Elva is a cleanse, positive affinity. We'll remove that. Nice and cheesy stat, uh, strat. Unkillable plus plus block damage. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Actually, it's fine. It's a interesting strat, but. His only DPS is Wukong. We have two revivers. He actually got the hex off. Why is her hex coded differently? I don't know. Oh, it goes to the UDK. Oh man, this is going to be annoying. Taunt goes to UDK. I think if I can take a slam to kill Yumiko, probably have to do it. Just in time, the cooldown. It's good. My Elva isn't like built for arena at all. So he's actually quite slow. Like maybe like 250 or something. Maybe a bit higher, but she's definitely not built for arena. But I might need to build her a little bit more seriously. Seems like a pretty good counter to um to a Wukong. At least a little bit. I mean, she's not a great counter, but a little bit better. All right, so now I can finally start building HP on the Rotos. <laughs> Can't 
transfer hex on myself. Lockout just in time. Ah, that sucks. The provoke provoke bypass the taunt. That's kinda interesting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he intended for that to happen, but that's pretty interesting, like pretty good synergy. The placing the hex and then getting slept. Alright, kill Yumiko please. There she goes. Alright. This strategy. <laughs> it's interesting strategy for sure. Whoa, level eighty seven. Too bad you can't see like more stats. I would like uh, Live Arena to have more stats. Either like before the match or after the match. Fuck. <laughs> uh, both DPS are chosen, so. Um, I guess we take Duchess away. Here, let's do this. Let's see what happens. So, you guys didn't didn't know I did pull Leorius so Leorius would probably come in um, instead of Rhonda most of the time as my fourth if I get into that situation okay so we banned Taras this uh, this fight Taras gets banned unless we want to ban Marichka yeah Rhonda's gonna be super weak in this fight um, I think we take a chance with Helicath Go from there. Yeah, I think we take a chance with the Helicath. Rhonda just doesn't make sense here. And then he gets a free pick with the UDK, which really sucks. And we have to ban either Marishka or Taras. My, oh, he has a lockout too. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Well, 
I haven't seen Marichka in a while, to be honest. So, a little bit practice. It's not bad. Huh? She's a sheep though. <laughs> How come he's counterattacking with the sheep? Are you serious, man? This guy is able to one shot. We have to leave uh, Marichka to the end, but we have to build Rodos's. Um, we have to build his stats up high enough. That's good. The Wukong's gonna come back, so it's all good. That AoE just doesn't do anything. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I fucked that up. Low 87 with Taras Marichka, yeah. Blessings too. Oh, this guy again. Played against this guy earlier. I forgot what he had. He might have had a... He might have had a Wukong. I don't remember. I don't remember.
So I'm going to pick Rodos and ban UDK. The damage Wukong too. Hmm. Or maybe this guy was the guy with the Leo. Don't remember. Yeah, this guy's the guy with the Leo. So he goes first, buff. Ban his Leo. Try to deal with the Wukong. I mean, I don't think Harima was like an insane last pick uh, just because he does have a damaged Wukong, so we're going to be locked out. Locked out. Pytheon's weak too against Wukong. Yeah, maybe Mithral comes back into the, into the mix soon. Fear on Sifi could be huge. Yeah, I could see that. Why not? Gonna try to steal our stuff and then we can can't do anything. Hmm. Oh my lord. Can't do anything. It's UDK. We ban Leo. Wow, that's his A1. I think Pytheon gets a turn back here. It's not gonna kill, not gonna kill a Unico. Not even close. the monkey 
It's a uh, 100% the monkey. He's giving a ton of problems. Like this whole session today, just tons of problems. Yeah, it's over. Any AOE, we're done. I mean, just kill the reviver. Yeah. yeah. It's the monkey. The monkey is giving the most trouble. Did I lose this guy? No, I beat this guy earlier with the monkey and the Leo. The Rotos beat him. Yeah, I didn't pick Taras. I think I, I, I think I like grew a brain in this fight, and I said no to Taras, and then I picked Rotos, and Rotos won. But I don't know if Rotos would win in this fight because he picked UDK blind, but he knew I had a Rotos. So, I mean, in the end, you know, he made the correct pick, right? He picked UDK, forced me to not pick Rotos, and then Taras right into the uh, Wukong. It's too difficult to deal with. Yeah. Wukong too difficult to deal with with Taras, for sure. At least it feels that way. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Feels that way. It's quite difficult to deal with. It's a pretty cool banner. I noticed his banner. It looks pretty cool. Four dev. The big a fantastic four number. Four. Then the dev. Pretty clean looking. Yeah, I think Ward of the Fallen on Harma actually makes the most sense too. Sheep on Harma, I mean, you don't get crit damage. You get, you don't get crit damage, right? Um, I mean, I'm kind of annoyed that he picked the UDK, and then he picked Rhonda. Gonna be like this. And then yeah, we'll have to ban UEK. And then yeah, hopefully the Harma doesn't just clean us out. No defense up. She'll be slow going. Okay. So they're locked out. That's a good sign. Sheep. He probably gets sheeped somewhere here because she has a six star sheep. Six star sheep. Probably get sheep somewhere, maybe. We'll see. Maybe we can sheep somebody first. Maybe sheep the Harma first or something. So then we can stick around and kill everybody. Lands to provoke. I think she resisted the term meter. Uh, resisted the. Yeah, she resisted it. So sick. Protection buff. Oh, so sick. Sickening. <laughs> Sickening. Sickening, man.
She didn't resist the turn meter, but she resisted the um, the lockout. Can only A1, but maybe Warlord's dead. Probably need to sheep um, Pytheon at this rate. Oh my god. I don't get the turn, damn it. He has two priority kills here. Oh, he got it. He got it, man. He got it. Okay, one on one Pytheon versus Taras. I got my cooldowns. Let's go. Uh oh. Done. I don't have my cooldowns. Oh no. What the? Oh. Maybe he's, he's still on cooldown. Oh my god. He gets two turns. He got two turns. Are you for real? You got two turns? Are you for real? Oh my god, did I play that bad? I just didn't have the A2 ready. I didn't have the A2 ready. On Taras. I didn't have a, I didn't have it ready. And then the Pythion take like two turns. And he couldn't take one turn. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. So we go five and five today. Some of these fights are just like like this one, this Lady Kimmy one is just like this one with Tormund. I got absolutely like worked by this Leo. This one didn't make any sense. Like it, I fell over like so easily against this team. This one, this one also felt really bad too. Like I literally could not do anything against. The Duchess hidden behind the UDK here. Literally could not do anything. Ronda just ineffective. And again, I lose the UDK Wukong. Like, yeah, I'm just today is just like either I lose the Wukong or I lose the, like UDK. UDK here, Wukong UDK. This one, I have no idea what happened. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, guys, a little bit frustrating. It is what it is. I gained 10 spots. Couple medals. Show you guys the, the champs. Show the show you guys the champs real quick here. Uh, so I don't know. I beside myself. Beside myself today. A little frustrating, but it is what it is. Rhonda. She can't do it. Two star Rhonda. Make sure everything's there. Yeah, everything's here. I mean, she's okay geared, but okay geared. But yeah. This, yeah, she's not built for arena. I use her for ice golem, but you know, she seems okay. Yeah. 
I don't need him. I can regear him in any way. Stone skin seems to make sense, but Savage might make sense too. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it as always. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I mean, you know, if you guys see some better plays or if I played bad, let me know. You know, this is how you learn, right? Obviously, I don't have as much experience as a lot of people because I miss most of my fights uh, on a daily basis. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.